Hello everybody, Paul here at Broken Arrow Farm. Today we're gonna to be setting up a duck brooder. So this is some place where you put the baby ducks when you bring them home from the feed store, or the farm ranch store, or wherever you get your ducks from. So just gonna kinda of go over how we set ours up. So first off, I just went down to the corral where the cows are at and grabbed this tank that we had down there. Any kind of tank like this, or depending on how many you get, a plastic tote or... Okay, let's get this tank, Jace. Okay. Oh, hi, Melvin. Okay, yeah. we need to get this tank out. Tank out? Yep. Okay, now that I got that brooder tub set up there for the ducks, they need some sort of a bedding, and I like to use pine wood shavings, so I'm gonna grab some of those here real quick. Hi, Jace. So if you guys couldn't tell, I got my little, if you guys couldn't tell, my little tour buddy Jace is in here with me helping. He likes to help, likes to help with chores, which I think is great. Okay, so here's the water that I like to use for my chicks and ducks. It's a gallon water, and then ducks are very messy. I also place this under the water. It just keeps from shavings, keeps the shavings from getting in the water, just a scrap of wood. Jace, you gotta get out of the duck tank. You gotta get out of the duck tank. Get out of the duck tank. This is the type of feeder I like to use for my baby chicks and my ducks. Just pops apart, you can stack a whole bunch of these together. Good for storage when you're done. Just pop together. Jason, don't spill that. Don't spill it, buddy. Those duckies need that. Ducky. Yep. Okay, okay, it's gotta stay on the board. The board though. Okay, we're gonna get the ducks out. You ready? Okay, let's open it up. Can we open it? Yeah. Here, let's open it, Jace. Hey, Jack. Careful. Good job. Put it in here. Oh, no. Okay, that's it. That's all the duckies. So, like I was saying, this room was designed as a brooder room. It's insulated, then I can hang up heat lamps. So I got plug-ins up there and the heat lamp. Another trick that I like to use just for safety is this wire is tied right here. So if this chain or something breaks and this light bulb falls down and hits the shavings, it'll unplug that right there. It's actually a tip I used or learned from an old farmer years ago who uh, had a pheasant farm I helped out with. 
So these guys will stay in this room until they're until they are old enough to go outside. All right, got the duckies all settled into their new home. So these ducks are a little bit older, getting a little bit bigger. When they're younger, I like to have this heat lamp at about 18 inches. Now that they're a little bit older, they don't need as much heat. So as they get older, I progressively lift up that heat lamp until they no longer need that anymore. Another thing, ducks are very messy with their water. They make a mess. So one thing about ducks is we're gonna have to clean out this, this brooder tub a couple of different times here as they're in here. Here are a few of our layer ticks there, a couple weeks old. So on my heat lamps, I just have a, a small chain and a, a little hook right here so I can lift that up. So they're getting older, they don't need as much heat. I can just lift that up a couple of inches right here, hook it right there and it's nice and secure. So I know some of you are going to ask, well, what breed of ducks are these? Well, they were listed as assorted ducklings. So they are assorted ducklings. Not sure what they are, it's gonna be a surprise. We'll see here in another couple of months as they get older. Just kind of wanted to give you guys just kind of a quick overview of, of how I set up brooder rings and stuff like that. A lot of this equipment we already have because we raise birds here every year. We already have the tank, the feeder, the water, we already had all that. We already had food here because we got chickens here. So didn't take long to get this set up at all. So that's kind of, kind of what I wanted to show you guys today. If you got any questions or anything or any comments, go ahead and put that in the comment section. If you do like what you're seeing here, you like uh, life on the farm or farm tips or just our day-to-day -day lifestyle here that we are doing here on the farm, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would appreciate that. And ride along with us here at Brook Hero Farm for the adventure. Thank you for watching.